Yandere Simulator is supposed to be about eliminating rivals. But after 30 months of development, the game still doesn't have an official rival. Why not? I'll explain. Adding a rival would not be as simple as telling the game to spawn a student with a specific appearance and adding a cutscene upon their death. No, a rival needs to be much more than that. Rivals need to feel like they are in a completely different category from normal students. A rival needs to have a very carefully designed daily routine that puts her in close proximity to Senpai, or numerous witnesses, at nearly all times, so that it's not possible to just run right up to her, stab her, and win the game. A rival needs to have special interactions with Senpai. These interactions will not only demonstrate the relationship that is developing between the two characters, but will also provide the player with opportunities to sabotage their interactions. A rival needs to have her own side story playing out in the background, to provide the player with secrets and weaknesses to discover. A rival needs to have a distinct personality that is demonstrated through unique animations that other NPCs don't possess. A rival needs to have a cutscene for confessing love to Senpai under the cherry tree, as well as a cutscene for being rejected by Senpai. It would be easy to tell the game to spawn a new student with a certain name and appearance, but that would not be the same as adding a true rival to the game. The rivals are the focus of the game, so when I implement the first official rival, she needs to make people more excited for the final product than any previous update. Ten rival girls are planned for Yandere Simulator, so the act of eliminating the first rival has to be so fun that people want to do it at least nine more times. As I mentioned in a previous video, I have now implemented all elimination methods that are not specific to a rival. I can't continue adding new elimination methods to the game until I implement a true rival, not a placeholder. I'll be specific about exactly what I need to do to add Osana, the first official rival, into the game. I need to design a routine that makes it very difficult to kill her without swift and harsh consequences. I need to add at least five events where she interacts with Senpai and give the player the ability to sabotage all five events. I need to write up a side story for Osana, similar to Kokona's side story about her father's debt. I need to work with animators to give Osana her own unique set of animations. And I need to work with animators and voice actors to produce proper confession cutscenes. For the past 30 months, I have always tried my best to update Yandere Simulator once every two weeks. However, it will probably take longer than 14 days for animators and voice actors to deliver all of the animations and voiced lines I'm going to need in order to add Osana to the game. It might take at least a month, possibly even longer. While I'm waiting for the animators and voice actors to deliver the materials I need, I know exactly what I should be doing. I should go through the game and fix everything that's in need of improvement. Currently, the majority of the features in Yandere Simulator are only half implemented. For example, some school bonuses are not working. It's not possible to save or load the game. Some school locations aren't fully implemented. The intro cutscene is still just a black screen. It's not possible to interact with faculty members. Students don't react to the sight of blood pools or weapons. There are a lot of placeholder models and placeholder songs. The school nurse doesn't perform any kinds of actions at all. The school's population is less than half of what it should be. Students don't perform a very wide variety of actions or animations. There still isn't a cutscene that plays when a girl commits suicide. Footsteps don't make any sound, which is essential for a stealth game. And the Guidance Counselor doesn't serve her primary purpose, which is to punish Yandere-chan for misbehavior. All of this is not to mention the absolutely abysmal frame rate, which I desperately need to fix, and some of the game's code, 
which could be rewritten to be far more efficient. These are just some of the problems that I currently have with Yandere Simulator. There's a part of me that doesn't even want to implement Osana until most of this stuff is fixed. When you try to take down Osana, I want you to feel like you're experiencing a demonstration of what the final game will be like. Not just killing a test subject in a glitchy debug sandbox. When Osana is implemented, I want you to feel like one of the final pieces of the puzzle has clicked into place. Instead of feeling like Yandere Simulator is still a giant incomplete puzzle that is missing most of its pieces. I do not want to release a build that has a half-functional Osana. So, once I begin working on implementing Osana, you won't be getting any new builds until Osana is 100% functional. Considering everything that is required to add Osana to the game, that could take at least one month. If you are going to be stuck with one build of the game for at least a month, I want to make sure that build has enough content in it to keep you happy during the long wait for Osana. Most games that have a long lifespan have one thing in common. They allow players to be creative and expressive. This makes me think that if I want you to be satisfied with one build of Yandere Simulator for at least a month, I need to add a gameplay mode that lets you be creative. Some games, such as Senran Kagura, have a pose mode that allows the player to pose the game's characters in funny ways. A very skilled individual by the name of... Kug... Foot... Buzz... has created a mod for Yandere Simulator. This mod allows people to pose the game's characters anywhere and in any position. Many people have used this mod to create very amusing scenes. I would absolutely love to turn this mod into an official feature of the game. This would definitely help people to have fun with the game during the long downtime while I'm implementing Osana. While I am waiting for animators and voice actors to deliver the materials I need in order to add Osana to the game, I'll work on adding as many improvements to the game as possible, such as an intro cutscene, teacher interaction, footsteps, the nurse, the guidance counselor, and possibly even a pose mode. Once I have all of the materials I need in order to implement Osana, and once I feel like the game is in a really good state, then I'll begin adding Osana to the game, and you won't get any new builds until she's 100% complete. There are two things happening soon that will affect my schedule. For one thing, Halloween is coming up, and I really don't want to let Halloween pass by without doing something special, like last year's Yanvania minigame. Also, it's been over a year since the last time I took a vacation, and I would really like to take a break sometime soon. Preferably two weeks in the second half of November. I can't say with 100% certainty exactly how long it will take for my volunteers to produce all of the materials I need to add Osana to the game. And I also can't say exactly how long it will take to implement Osana either. Maybe it will take far less time than I've estimated. Or maybe not. My goal for this year has always been to get Osana into the game fully functional before 2017, and I'm going to do my best to make it happen. Thank you for following the development of Yandere Simulator. <laughs>